Hello and welcome to Talking FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys and right here today it is the Joan Gamper Trophy 2019 which is going to be contested by Barcelona and Arsenal here coming live from the camp now on Sunday evening and of course today's video is coming to you courtesy of the One Football app which you can find in the description down below to keep you up to date right throughout the summer with all the fixtures, all the transfers, it's right there on the One Football app and today we are going to be focusing once again on pre-season in the form of the Joan Gamper Trophy, which of course is our annual friendly match, which takes place at the camp now every single summer to celebrate our very own founder, Joan Gamper himself. He was a Swiss-born businessman who actually founded Barcelona way back now in 1899, and it all started after he placed a simple advert in the local paper citing his wish to start a football team. He wanted to be part of something, he wanted to create and be part of a football team. He put his advert out there, he had a great response, and in that moment, FC Barcelona came to life, and Joan Gamper himself actually ended up there playing for the club, and actually scored over a hundred goals for Barcelona, and was part of the team there who won the first ever trophy for the club itself. And I think that's very fitting, really, that we begin every single season with the Joan Gamper trophy, the first match here from the camp now in the new campaign, and it's when the real business starts. Here, right here and right now, we get in the groove, we get back to work, it's the first time you get introduced really to the new signings at the camp now and it's really great it's a great occasion for the fans it's a great occasion as well for the players to come out there right here and right now the 2019 to 2020 season it starts right here we go again Kickoff will be coming to us live from the Camp Nou Stadium at 8 p.m. local time. And good news for many, many Barcelona fans right around the world because this match here will be broadcast live on the FC Barcelona website for free. Everybody's going to be able to watch it. Everybody, apart from those living in the UK and Ireland, which is just typical. But right here, guys, it is going to be on Premier Sports if you are in the UK and Ireland. And the Gamper match itself, like I say, is a great occasion. It should be a good atmosphere there at the Camp Nou tomorrow. A lot of fans are going to come in and watch this spectacle here and certainly we're going to have a good test against this Arsenal side. We certainly are. They're going to be a very, very good opponent to test ourselves against and get us up to speed because just like against Chelsea in our first preseason game and then in our second against Vissel Kobe, this will once again be a real test against an opposition here who are much, much more advanced in their preseason preparations because Chelsea were further along than we were. Vissel Kobe were still playing in their season but Arsenal, they're going to be even sharper than both of those previous opponents there because Arsenal already have played seven pre-season games this season. This right here is going to be their eighth pre-season friendly before the new season starts. And of course, we've only had two. Chelsea, Vissel Kobe, that's our only two games of pre-season so far. So certainly Arsenal are going to be way, way advanced where we're at right now. And of course, with the Premier League starting just next weekend for them, they're going to be expecting it, but the finishing touches on their preparations and they are going to be buoyed by their brand new signing, big, big signing for them, Nicolas Pepe, who signed for 80 million and Euros. Big one there for Arsenal and certainly this match should help us get up to speed, continue our preparations and hopefully once again we can put on a show at the camp now. And of course, guys, I think we're all wondering right now, when exactly are we going to see Lionel Messi once again in a Barcelona shirt? I was thinking maybe perhaps we might see him after his extended holiday. Of course, he played in Copa America. He got a bit more time off. We may have just seen him in this game, but it does appear this one is going to come a bit too soon. I wouldn't completely rule it out because I know the fans, of course, are going to want to see maybe a few minutes of him, but I still believe without any training, he's only come back really today to Barcelona. He came back before that, but then he went to Ibiza for a few more days. He's back now in Barcelona, he is going to rejoin training, but he's going to have hardly any time coming before this game. So I think it's unlikely tomorrow that we are going to see Messi. But of course, then we do have the USA tour. Certainly then, they're going to be out in force. The stars of Barcelona, everybody's going to be on that tour. Everybody's going to need to be playing. We're going to leave for that early next week. We're going to be off to the USA playing our first game there late on Thursday, or depending on where you are, that's going to be against Napoli. And certainly then we're going to see Messi return. We're going to see Suarez. We're going to see Artur. All of those players coming back from their holidays and they're going to be back in training and back very very soon indeed but Messi might not be available I wouldn't expect to see him against Arsenal tomorrow and I just want to bring you some new guys away from this game I want to bring you some news on Junior Firpo because yesterday we spoke about Firpo in a bit of detail we said that deal is getting very very close indeed and it certainly is right now Barcelona are really really close to that official announcement the reports are coming out now the fee has been agreed potentially the upfront fee there could be as low as 
18 million euros. Rat one there is saying that it could be 18 million plus a potential 7 million in bonuses. That there would be a fantastic fee if Barcelona can agree that. But Junior Firpo, very, very close. The announcement, it seems to be coming. And the medical examinations. And of course, we want him on that plane to go to the USA in the coming days. So expect some news on Junior Firpo soon. Really, really good news that will be when it comes around. But on this game and what we can expect from Ernesto Valverde is much really as what we've seen so far in the preseason. We've seen a number of players. We've seen B players get their chances. It's going to be nice tomorrow, as it always is, to see some Barcelona B players out there at the camp now in front of all those fans on quite a big occasion. Yes, it's a friendly game, but still, there's going to be a lot of fans out there tomorrow. And for those B players, it's a good occasion. It's a good chance there to go out, express yourself, make a good impression. And once again, to the likes of Carlos Perez, Ricky Puch, Todibo, of course, not a Barcelona B player, but somebody here with a point to prove coming into the team this season, they're all going to go out there with a real ambition to show Valverde what they can do. And that's what pre-season is all about. Set your stall out, show what you can do, showcase that talent. And this is the time to do it. This is the time now to really make your name and really make that impression ahead of the new season. And tomorrow should be another good, good chance for all of those guys to get some time. And of course, guys, just like we've seen throughout the preseason campaign so far, I would expect Ernesto Valverde to change up his team to bring in some B players, like we've just said. But at the same time, just combining here a team of what I would love to go out and see tomorrow at the camp now in front of all those fans. I'd love to see something like this. Just a bit of first team, a strong team here, but also there a bit of youth involved as well, just to blood them, but around very, very good players. You've got Tostegan in goal here. You've got Jordi Alba at left back, of course, for the time being, until we can sort of replace him there and give him a bit of a substitute in Junior Firpo somebody that provide real competition at left back. We've got to see Semedo at right back, no doubt about that. He's got to get some game time under his belt, consistent game time, now that he is going to be the out and out right back at Barcelona with Roberto playing in midfield. I'd love to see him today here alongside Tadebo. I think both of those players this season could be braced for very, very big campaigns ahead of them. And this midfield here, Frankie de Jong in the holding role. I think he's played as course as a six. He's played in a number of different roles already in pre-season for Barcelona. But I'd like to see him here just anchoring the midfield, just playing here in the dropping in here, receiving the ball from the centre-backs, and then releasing Ricky Puch and Carlos Alenia. That, for me, looks very, very exciting. A really good combination play there in midfield, and really, really good technical players. That's what you want at Barcelona. Players there who can do things with the ball at their feet. They can move, they can be pressed, they can evade that press. That's what you need there at Barcelona. And against Arsenal tomorrow, we are going to need to be at a very, very good level, no doubt about that. And in the front line, for me, Griezmann playing here as the out-and-out -out striker, Dembele from the right, and I give Carlos Perez another chance here from the left-hand side. He was brilliant, I thought, took his goals so, so well against Vissel Kobe. And I would love to see him here, given an opportunity on the left-hand side again at the cap now. Go and take that chance. If he scores again, it's yet more confidence. If he scores again, yet again, he's banging on the door saying, look, I can do it. I'm being consistent. I'm scoring goals. And that's what you want to see. And I think that team there, it gives you a lot of hope. It gives you a lot of belief. And I think certainly in a pre-season game like this, that's the kind of feeling that you want. You want to see here... Of course, the out-and-out -out established stars, the new signings, the big players. But you also want to see in amongst there some youth players who can step up, can make that impact. And in the season to come, we could see Ricky Puch, we could see Carlos Perez. Certainly, we're going to see Toribo step into that first-team role. And when, and when given the opportunity, they've already proven you can see the quality. They can perform. And that there looks like a really, really nice team for me. Valverde, give us some fun tomorrow at the camp now. Just this once, give us some fun. And so that there, guys, is my thoughts on Barcelona against Arsenal in the Jean Gamper match to come this summer. And of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Once again, here in preseason, I'm not going to give you a score prediction. What I would say, though, is once again, just be cautious. Just be very, very careful because, like I say, Arsenal are really far along in their plans. They're very, very close now to reaching the optimum fitness. This season starts just next week. We've got to bear that in mind. We're going off to the USA. That's when, really, we should be hitting our best, best form. But right here and now, we'll do what we can the players out there the players that we just saw in that lineup they can do some damage and hopefully tomorrow we can see a good display good football that's the most important thing at the camp now leave your thoughts in the comments down below what's your lineup predictions do you have a score prediction let me know and of course tomorrow i'll be back for the match review it'll be coming right here but until next time as always guys Vesca el barca oh.